and Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me for a new week of my videos. Last week we covered Fusion uh, to Plant 3D catalogs and today I wanted to touch a little bit on Fusion versus Advanced Steel. More so in regards to the sheet metal or plate kind of features uh, available in both programs. Now if you've got the Autodesk AC collections, you'll already have Advanced Steel. Uh, if you don't um, have it, then obviously you'll just have to get it, or you could get Fusion, uh, and Fusion has varying license types as well, or if you've got the uh, product design and manufacturing collection, uh, you'll have Fusion in there. But they both have the ability to do sheet metal. Um, in in event steel it's called plates so if you switch to the objects tab and then have a look at plates you've got different ways of doing plates here either center rectangular polygon uh, or even make a conical folder plate or just doing the folder plate which is one of what I wanted to cover in this video um, and then an, an interesting one with the uh, folded plate so if I draw a circle and I draw a rectangle and if I move this up, then we can do this sort of thing and get our conical folder plate in there. And then we can we can produce development drawings of that. But for today, against Fusion, I wanted to just have a quick look at the just the normal sort of plate commands. So I'm just going to do it from zero, 0, down to sort of there. And let's make it 300 by 300. Okay. Now, to do folder plate, you can use the position adjustment, which means you can do another plate. So if I... Um, let's switch my UCS so I can do another rectangle out here and then I can do a folder plate with position adjustment and you can see um, it moves it over and then we can say plug in 45 and then it does all of the values in there as well okay that's one way of doing it The other way to do it is if you know where you want to put the fold or put the other the plate on so then we can come out over here and then let's say we do 300 by 150 and I can just move end to end and then do it without adjustment so pick one pick the other one and then we get that fold in there as well and we can adjust I can maybe put in a 50 radius okay and if we do the same thing on the other way, then I'm just going to do an arbitrary sort of shape. And let's make it 450 by 300. So same thing, I'm just going to move it corner to corner. And then, okay. And then we can get, basically get a development drawing out of that. So to do that is like normal, give it a number. Okay. And then go to your drawing styles. And it's down under the parts. Under the parts tab, there's one here called development. So click on that. And you pick the object and then we get the development drawing for that and obviously you can go through and dimension and do whatever you need to do so if we change that so I'm already looking at this plate here so if I go to objects again and switch to my hole type And then do a bolt hole pattern from corner to corner. And let's say 4x4 four four with a 25 uh, edge distance. And then same thing, 
go to my document manager, ask for it to be updated, and then we get our development drawing there. And you can see all of the dimensions have come through. Obviously, you can just go through and dimension uh, the rest that you need there as well. So that's the, the sort of, I guess, the sheet metal slash plate work kind of functionality in advanced steel. So for tomorrow, I'm going to do a similar thing and show you how it's done in Fusion. So there are a couple minor differences, but ultimately the output will be similar or the same. So uh, if sheet metal or plate work is of interest to you, then, then hang around for tomorrow and, and see what we can do in Fusion. And then I guess from your own judgment, you can decide whether advanced steel is the better option or Fusion. For my mind, I would say advanced steel for the for the bigger projects, and then fusion maybe more for the smaller sort of maybe more mechanical kind of projects. So you wouldn't be doing a whole bunch of of plate work in fusion, um, only to end up exporting it out into an advanced steel file later. So again, each tool has its own uh, pros and cons. But so uh, you know from this, you'll be able to see what you can do in advanced steel and what you can do in fusion, and then make up your own mind. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I will see you tomorrow for some fusion plate work uh, and see what the differences are. See you later.